Hello, I'm Jason Harrelson. I'm here in the Denver showroom. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about each of the horns behind me, um, primarily the four on the bottom. And uh, we're gonna film a few different videos, but this one is going to just be an overview of those four horns. So uh, we build X series horns, which are my version of a prototype. Essentially our prototypes uh, really aren't prototypes like you'd imagine as a complete experiment. Normally, everything about the prototype is known except for maybe one element might be experimental. So there really isn't that much risk in these prototypes in terms of what I'm doing, but I am uh, documenting uh, variations so that I can see what works for certain types of players and situations and what may or may not be a better fit. So we have a couple prototypes here. The first is the X8 which is finished in acoustic armor. The next one is the X16, which is the latest prototype I've built. And that one has some special bracing on it in raw brass. On this side, we have the X15, um, and that one is also in brushed raw brass. And down here, this is not an X series, but instead, this is a limited edition Summit Trumpet. It's known as the T3. So we're just gonna start over here talk about the X8, and I'd encourage you to go to the individual videos so that you can see and hear me play all of these um, in those videos. So the X8 was originally built uh, a few months ago. Let's see, this was built, um, well, I can't even read it, in, in November of 2018. It's very faint there. And uh, this horn features Leap Pipe 3 and Bell 1 LT. So it is finished in acoustic armor, which is uh, matte silver, and it does have kind of a, a silver sheen to it. I'm gonna hold it up here close to the camera. And it has gold trim on it as well. And I just realized that probably not gonna get as good a view as when I'm in the light. So there we are. Here we have the Harrelson logo on it and the year 2018. On the top, it does say Harrelson again. On the underside, it has the date and the lead pipe and bell, which, like I said, was a three lead pipe, bell one LT. Now, lead pipe three is relatively small, especially at the beginning. And of course, it gets bigger like all lead pipes, but because this has the Venturi gap receiver system on it, then we can unscrew this and we can put different inserts in here that will allow you to infinitely adjust uh, flexibility, slotting, airflow, and resonance. So essentially, you can make this horn feel just right for almost any player. Um, and this could be set up for commercial playing, uh, for legitimate playing like uh, in a concert band or even an orchestra. It'd work in all those settings and uh, work as, in, as well in jazz. So I also want to point out that the receiver is engraved with an X8 on it. This horn was sold a few months ago. The owner put it in um, a torpedo bag, one of the ones you just push it straight down into, and he dropped the case and it did break the horn. So it literally snapped this machined lead pipe. And uh, because of that, uh, we didn't have too many options in repairing this without doing a full refinish. So because I did not want to refinish the entire horn, I instead cleaned up this area underneath the lead pipe and I put it exactly back to where it should be. I machined a collar that's exactly the right size. I drilled two little holes and I filled them with solder and with a little time and patience, I filled that whole thing. So it's a very solid, snug fit, uh, stronger than the original. But that is why this little brass collar exists on this horn. Um, Otherwise the horn is in brand new condition and it works exactly the same as when it was new. I'm gonna put that one back. So that is the X8, great for all around playing um, and it does make the higher, uh, the upper register a lot easier to play. Um, so next we're going to look at the X16. So this is eight horns later. As you can see, this horn has less bracing on it and this has uh, the first horn that has our actual X bracing on it. So now you can see it does kind of form an X. So like this way and that way. 
And this one also has a Venturi gap receiver, so you can unscrew the receiver and you can change the inserts. So there's no insert on here yet. I'll put one on in the X16 video. This one has a skeletonized finger rings. As you can see, you can see right through those finger rings and they somewhat match the bracing that also has material removed. If you notice, the bracing does in fact go all the way around the valve casing. And there's a view from the other side. This one does feature a round tuning slide, Saturn water keys. It is lighter than the X8, and we can make this even lighter with uh, smaller bottom caps if we like. This has the very smallest, thinnest finger buttons. The difference between this and the X8 is the X8 is more efficient. And that's because the lead pipe was machined on that one, whereas this one is a drawn lead pipe. So it's less efficient, it will resonate more, and um, the lead pipe and bell on this horn is a one lead pipe and a one bell. And that's really uh, kind of the equivalent of what you'd find on a Bach or a Yamaha. It's gonna sound and feel a lot more like that. It'll be more vibrant and easier to play. All right, so we'll put the X16 back. Next, we're gonna look at the Summit T3. Now here, we're in a completely different league. Almost everything on this horn was machined and it was machined and designed to be extreme high efficiency. And uh, this one was designed to be a bigger, broader, uh, more mature sounding horn. I really encourage you to check out the video on this particular horn because the sound can be huge. Uh, but this is a Lee Pipe 4, a Bell 3RX, which is just a massive red brass bell. Uh, this one does feature um, our T3 series, which is textured. This is the third in a series of textured horns. So I have machined the bell crook and the tuning slide, the stems, and even the receiver uh, to have this texture to it. So this is the third in that series, and this texture is known as crosshatch. I'm going to hold it up close so you can see. That's the crosshatch hatch pattern. And you can see those stems as well. It's even in the receiver. And this horn does have a fully machined lead pipe. And again, the Venturi gap receiver system. So the same system that you saw on the other horns is on this one. This is the style A tuning slide, style D bell crook, both very efficient. And uh, of course our standard summit bracing on the top, ergonomic fingering, Saturn water keys, this has three quarter inch bottom caps. Finger buttons, you could choose others, but these are a very nice mosaic. Uh, it has multiple colors. And if you have one of our 5mm modular mouthpieces, this is the 5 8 taper receiver. So essentially that means that you'd want a mouthpiece body with that same taper. It's gonna look like that. Again, I encourage you to check out the video on this horn. It is very beautiful sounding and quite easy to play. And the last horn we're going to review right now is the X15. Now the X15 is somewhat similar to the X8 and the X16. Uh, if you notice, if I hold it up against the X8, you can see some similarities right away. Um, finger rings are very similar. Finger buttons are close to the same. These are a little heavier. And the top caps are the same. The bracing is somewhat similar. This actually uses Summit bracing, so it's a little bigger. And this has a drawn lead pipe, so that's more similar to the X16. And those two horns are literally almost identical in dimensions. Um, they both have drawn lead pipes. They have the VGR Venturi gap receiver again. As you can see, this one is the larger version compared to the number 16. And the bracing is a big difference between these two horns. I'm gonna hold them both up so you can see the difference. So there we have uh, the X15 on this hand, X16 on this hand, and there is different bracing. Otherwise, the horns are very similar. Now the X15 was designed with lead pipe two and bell 11. So the X15 has a bigger bell here in the throat, meaning it's gonna be a bigger, more robust sounding horn, 
than the 3RX, but it has a standard diameter bell, which is about five inches, whereas the X series is closer to 5.3 inches. So um, in essence, you're getting a less efficient horn in this X series. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles. It's not gonna play double high C for you like that one does. <laughs> but um, at the same time, it's a well-rounded horn that's gonna do pretty much everything except maybe commercial and lead, unless you set up the mouthpiece specifically to do that. And I will demonstrate that in our X15 video, even though this is a big number 11 bell, I have mouthpieces set out here and I have some variations that'll make this bell sound huge and dark and extremely bright and, and cutting. So we'll do both of those in that video. I encourage you to watch the videos for all four of these horns, mostly so you can learn more about how trumpets are designed and built and understand how uh, Harrelson Trumpets really has a different approach to get you into the equipment that's gonna fit you the best. And a lot of that comes down to you telling us what you need, us experiencing that somewhat together, and um, then you learning about our components and our approach so that we can find the best setup for you. And once you have one of our horns, we can always uh, really adjust the flexibility, the slotting, the airflow, the resonance that you hear, um, in the Venturi Gap Receiver, because we have these inserts. Here's a whole set. So we have uh, every setting you can imagine in the inserts, and you get those included with your horn. Um, and then we also have the 5mm modular mouthpiece. We call it 5mm because the 5 stands for five crucial components. MM stands for modular mouthpiece. So it's a five-part modular mouthpiece. And that system will allow us to set you up with the right rim that's going to be the most comfortable, the correct cup shape and depth for various types of music, and then we can really fine-tune the shape and the depth of the cup, the throat, and the back bore, and even the body size to give you the results that you're looking for for each different genre of music. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you have uh, a great time watching the rest of our videos, and I'll see you next time.